Uh, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, uh, I want to take a moment to go ahead and introduce myself and let my friend here introduce herself. Uh, my name is Brandon Bentley and I am a teaching artist for the Carnegie here in Covington. And, and I'm Sarah Rodriguez. So I'm also so a visual arts instructor. So like, and my blonde hair. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the Carnegie is, um, Carnegie is a center here in Covington. We have education, theater, and a gallery, an art gallery. Um, so we try to represent all the arts, which is really cool. There's after school programs like this one tonight. And there's also in school programs are done. And there's always performances at the Carnegie. Um, Uh, this particular program, uh, what you're going to be seeing this evening, is sort of a culmination of uh, a project we've been working on called The Hero in Us All. It's uh, basically a playwriting project where well, we bring a bunch of different students together and we write a play. We've actually split it up into two uh, sort of different sections. The first part we did uh, uh, about a month ago is when we finished it. We start, uh, each student wrote their own individual short play that they let each other rehearse and then we perform that in our class for each other uh, and then we've been working on writing a large play together now part of our playwriting process is coming up with ideas and generating them so one of the ways that we have been generating our ideas is through improvisation so our uh, original play isn't quite ready for us to show that but we do want to show you some of the improvisation that we've been doing to generate some of our ideas uh, so uh, we've got a bunch of different games ready to show you uh, and we will need your help. So stay engaged because we need your ideas to help us with our game. So guys, why don't you come on up uh, and just make a straight line across the stage for us. Uh, so this game uh, that we're going to play first is called World's Worst. Uh, so what we need, uh, start thinking of ideas. It could be jobs, it could be specific tasks that someone could do terribly. Yes? Comedian. A comedian. So, world's worst comedian. Go ahead, Anakin. Uh, why? How did the skeleton know it was going to rain? How? How? He read the weather channel. <laughs> Good! That was definitely my, a world's worst I guess my career is all there. Go ahead. What do you call a chicken turkey? What? A turkey. Oh. <laughs> my career is all there. Leave the comedy to the bears. Hi. Hi. I forgot my jokes so about <laughs> <laughs> Let's get another example. What's uh, something else uh, that we could have the world's worst of? Any other ideas? Plumber. <laughs> plumber. Plumber. Oh, world's that's worst a good one. plumber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, Danelle. Yes, grab someone. Be your partner. Come on, go. Okay, so, make sure this is the toilet. Okay, so, scrub it, scrub the side of it. I got my plunger. You scrubbing our man, do it right. Or I punch you. I punch you, punch you, punch you. See, I'm done punching. You can do the rest. No, you're not done. It's <laughs> definitely a pretty bad plunger. Uh, I need. Those two. Just All right. Hop on it, boys. World's worst plunger. Show us. Uh, plumber? Plumber. Oh, plumber. I'm sorry. Well. I guess I am Mario, and I don't, and I just want to do just save princess, get coins, and and not harm. I guess <laughs> do not operate, do not operate. It's obvious. Let's just jump around. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good job, guys. Uh, one more. World's worst plumber, Mark. How would you like me to fix this hole today? <laughs> well, it's broken. No, no use to help. <laughs> All right, and then I've got one last one for you guys. This one, uh, this one we had fun with earlier today. World's worst YouTube blogger. You mean YouTuber? <laughs> uh, Janelle. So, welcome to my channel. It's called Facebook. I look at pictures on Facebook, but I'm sleepy, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. 
Good night. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, Anakin, go ahead. <laughs> So we need, uh, so I need, first thing I need is a setting, a place where uh, two people could be. Anywhere. Coffee shop. A coffee shop, all right. So we've got two people in a coffee shop, and what is a problem that two people in a coffee shop could run into? <clears throat> Coffee's too hot. The coffee <laughs> is too hot. And then the last thing I need is I need some sort of relationship. What do these people mean to each other? Are they friends, enemies, uh, strangers? What, uh, what kind of relationship could they have? I like enemies. Enemies? Ooh, that's a good one. All right, so ladies, come on up. And you are two enemies in a coffee shop where the coffee is too hot. So if you guys would help us, the way we always start out our scenes is we go lights, camera, action. So if you would do that with me, I'd appreciate it. So here we go. Lights, lights camera, camera, action. And freeze. So, uh, that was our first scene. So ladies, remember what happened because now we are going to replay it, but this time we're going to add a twist. It's going to be the same scene, but we're going to put it in a different genre. So if that was a drama, what's a different sort of genre or type of movie we could turn that into? Musical. A musical. <laughs> so ladies, so ladies, come back and let us see that has a musical. <laughs> Here we go. Lights, camera, action. Girl, don't you be calling my style. You know I just fly for you. Freeze. Good. Good job. Let's do one more. Uh, what's one more genre we could give? Uh, we could give that scene. Horror film. A horror film. <laughs> Right. So ladies, one more time, this time as a horror film. Alright, here we go. And lights, camera, camera action. action. <laughs> good, good job ladies. Let's give them a round of applause. So uh, again, 
game like scene replay, I love that as a teacher uh, because not only do they have to come up with ideas about their characters really quickly, but then once we change the genre, they have to figure out how to modify that character and think really fast how would this same character be in a brand new sort of situation. So that's really fun. Next game we are going to play for you is called Lost in Translation. <laughs> Uh, so for this game, I am going to need uh, I'm going to need some kind of job that two people could be doing together. Mopping the floors. Mopping the floors. Fantastic. So we've got two people who are mopping the floors, and these two people do not speak the same language, so they have to have a translator to help them communicate with one another. Uh, so what is a problem that they could run into while they're mopping the floor? There's bread on the floor. There's bread all over the floor. <laughs> so you're trying to mop the floor, but it's covered in bread. So gentlemen, come on up, take your places. And we'll give them a lights, camera, camera. action. He's saying you must work faster. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, what's a problem that uh, uh, she that just people said could have? Too. She what? said they had no air. Oh, they're running out of air. That's fantastic. Oh. So, so uh, two people trapped in outer space, running out of air. All right. So, uh, gentlemen, actually, you've got. Actually, I think I, I think I actually have a problem. Yeah. One has air and one doesn't. Ooh. I like that one a little more. So, all right, so uh, then let's see that. You're both in outer space, and one of you is running out of air. Oh! Just one. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Lights, camera, camera action. action. Well, at least I'm not running out of air like you. <laughs> I can barely breathe. I need a part of the planet soon. Well, I'm. Well, I'm just glad I'm here. You should go back into your rocket ship and go back. I can't. Uh, I can't. The rocket ship is too far away. Well, if you want me to get the rocket ship, I'll just bring it to you. Uh, you just crashed our only way out of here. Well, I'm going to die slower than you now. Well, at least you're going to slowly die. I mean, I'm just going to live. <laughs> and sing. Good. So now let's replay that. Uh, but this time, let's give it. Let's give it a fun new category. Mark, do you have one? Yes. What what category do you want to give it? A romantic comedy. <laughs> Fantastic. So sing, sing, but a romantic comedy. No, no, no. We can't. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. No, I can't give my mind. Lights, camera, action. Slowly running out of air. No, please don't die. You are my friend. I know I'm your friend, but I'm going to die if you're going to survive. Please, no, do 
mistake my suit. Oh look, I'll run out of air myself. I'll just die throughout the bed. <laughs> Good! Good. Good. <laughs> I think we left out the comedy and the romance. But that's fantastic. Good. Uh, let's get one more uh, one more category. Uh, uh, let's see, you just gave us one mark. So anyone else have a different uh, genre or category? Ooh, Shelby. Comedy. Oh, yeah. Just a comedy? Uh, yes, yeah. I love comedy. We can, do, yeah, we can turn that into a comedy. Let's yeah. see what happens. Yeah. Here we go. Lights, camera, camera action. action. <laughs> at least I'm not a turkey like you. Uh, at least I'm not. I guess I have a lot of spine to go with me. You are not despicable. Well, I do remember that one joke. Oh, wait, because I'm brain dead. <laughs> Good job, Jill. Uh, we're going to play one more round of Lost in Translation. Uh, so uh, we need uh, our ladies here. Uh, they are going to be our uh, do, uh, doing a task. Uh, so we need some sort of job that they can be doing together. Any ideas? Mm, tap dancing duet. A tap dancing <laughs> duet. Fantastic. I love that. So we have a tap dancing duet, and we have a problem. What could what could some tap dancers have a problem with? Yes, Miss Sarah. The floor is extra slippery. The floor oh, yeah. is extra slippery. Good. And they don't speak the same language, so they do need a translator. So let's go ahead, and you guys uh, are going to be our tap dancers, and he is going to be our translator for you. So let's give them a lights, camera, action. Here we go. Lights, lights camera, camera, action. <laughs> She said, that's what you get for that's what you get for falling. Ha ha ha. No, She said, ha ha, that's how you fell. And you she said, she said, <laughs> <laughs> Just 
on their art alone. <laughs> uh, that's, that's something I don't think uh, too many people, uh, 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 well, that's something I think everybody really knows. Uh, so most artists have what they call a day job. So uh, what I do as sort of my day job, uh, I uh, am more in the performing art sort of realm. So I uh, am an actor, singer, uh, sometimes dancer, <laughs> if they make me. Um, so uh, what I do uh, during the day is I am a teacher. Uh, I've, I've been fortunate enough uh, to, uh, I'm one of the rare people in theater to be employed gainfully full-time by theater. Uh, so I work uh, at uh, different various theaters all over the city. Besides the Carnegie, I also work uh, for the Children's Theater Cincinnati, and I also work for Cincinnati Landmark Productions, uh, and I've done all sorts of things at any theater that will pay me to do it. Um, so, uh, so I sort of uh, have created sort of a slapdash career for myself working at a bunch of different theaters. Uh, and that's, that's kind of what being a performing artist is like. I, I like to say performing artists are nomads. We'll, we'll go where the jobs are. Uh, so uh, uh, typically I've been fortunate enough that I get to stay put here in Cincinnati, but a lot of other uh, performing artists that I know, they do travel frequently. Uh, and most of the time you can get whatever theater hires you to pay for that. So that's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, during the day, I uh, spend a lot of my time teaching. Uh, I will uh, teach through the Carnegie for Covington Independent Schools. Uh, so, uh, uh, and then I do after school programs, and then I usually go to rehearsal in the evenings. So, uh, so my days t can be pretty long, because I will a lot of times start teaching at 8 a.m., and then rehearsal is over about 10.30 or 11 p.m. Yeah. at night. So, performing artists, it's long hours, it's grueling work, but it's very, very rewarding. Uh, it's uh, not only do I get to impact people when I am performing, but also as a teacher, I get to impact students, and I hope that my passion for the arts uh, sort of carries over, and that they learn a passion for the arts as well. Uh, so, that's, that's kind of what I do. And if you have questions about it, you can find me after, and I can give you more information. But I'll let Sarah talk a little bit about what it's like being a visual artist. Um, so as Brian said, I'm a visual artist. Um, I got my bachelor's in fine arts degree from Wright State University in 2014. Um, I did a, a residency um, at Chautauqua School of Art in New York um, in 2015. And I just received my master's in um, fine arts from Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, this past fall. Um, like Brandon, I work at the Carnegie, do after school programs. Uh, these lights and the stage are not normally my thing, but I've had a great time um, being around different artists who have different practices than I do. Um, typically, a day for me is I get up, I am really diligent about my studio practice, so I go and I work in my studio for a few hours in the morning, and then I come out and teach um, the Carnegie. I also teach um, with Painting with a Twist here uh, on Harrison in Cincinnati on the west side, and I um, and I'll work at the library too. So I do have day jobs. <laughs> I do a lot of different stuff, but it makes my day exciting. It makes my week exciting. I never have the same day twice, um, and that's what's really cool about being an artist because you never have the same day, and you get to change it up and you get to meet different people all the time. On the weekends, I, there are always art, art museums are always open, art galleries, new shows um, coming up all over, so there's always people to meet, always new art to see, um, which is really cool. Um, a lot of the time, there is office work that needs to be done, too, so I um, have to photograph my work, I have to catalog it. Um, I apply for shows every month um, in the Cincinnati area, but also all over the country, all over the world. Um, sometimes I get in, sometimes I don't, but um, that's what's really cool, is you get to do all kinds of different things. I kind of run my own little business, almost. It's kind of like doing that. Um, but as well as reaching out to the community has always been really important to me. So I get to do that in front of you and sharing all the art stuff with everybody. So it's a pretty cool job. <laughs> it's kind of unconventional, um, but I think if you guys are committed to it, it's something that, it, don't go into it lighthearted. It is, it is hard. It is hard to be an artist. It's 
hard to do what we do. Um, it's, you know, having the different schedules are is difficult because you have to learn the boundaries really well. Um, you have to learn to be really organized. Um, and that can be difficult. But I think if you really have a passion behind what you're doing, so if you guys decide you want to go and, you know, go to school for, the, for any kind of art, um, know that it will be difficult. But um, you can push through if you're really passionate about it and you get to do really good stuff. So that's pretty much all I have. Um, but I really love it, so thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Great. Well, that's that's all we have for you to, uh, this evening. So thank you guys so much for coming all the way out. Thank you so much for sharing your children uh, with us. I know that uh, I believe this is Miss Sarah's first time teaching with them, but most of them I've been working with randomly over the past three years. So I recognize a lot of their faces. Uh, and it's always been a wonderful experience every time. So thank you very much, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening. Right, you are free!